Hi, my name is Jeff, and uh, I'm from York, Pennsylvania. Exciting place, especially when it comes to fashion. Well, this piece is really close to my heart because uh, I've done many projects with it, as you can see. It's got some paint on it, and it's got some varnish. Might even have a little bit of splash up from barbecue grill. Well, York is uh, probably, in my mind, one of the fashion capitals of the world. So I have quite a selection to choose from here in York. And as you can see by looking at my clothes, that uh, we're high society here. I think that what's great about York is that there are a lot of fun little boutiques where you can get some really unique pieces that you really can't find anywhere else. Excuse me, sir, do you work here? Um, yeah. Well, I found the shirt on the rack here that I really like, but the price is $5.99. I think that's way too much money for this shirt. Uh, I mean, that's the price on the tag. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you $2.95 for it. How's that? Sir, I'm, I'm not really authorized to change the price. Well, I'm sorry, but that's all I'm gonna give you, $2.95. You know what, just, just take it. The price on the tag is never the price. Anyone who doesn't know that hasn't been in the game very long. So the great thing about York is you don't even have to get dressed in the morning. You can just slip these on and you can dress them up, dress them down. I actually wore them with a button down white shirt to a court date for a friend of mine who was uh, being sued for child abuse. Oh, there it is. Okay, I was looking for that. This is one of my favorite shirts, uh, reason being it's extremely versatile. Uh, you can wear this shirt in the morning, roll up the sleeves, and go to the gym and exercise. And when you come home, you can keep it on and go out in the yard and gas a few groundhogs and when you're finished with that chore you just roll the sleeves back down pack up the family in the truck and head out to Haas's gorge yourself on the food there it's, it's a fabulous restaurant so it becomes a very versatile piece this is one of my favorite t-shirts I've had it for many years and uh, one of the things I really like about it is that it did arrive in a very small can, about this big and about this round, and it literally popped out of the can, and I've been wearing it ever since. Just, how did they get a t-shirt in a can like that? I have no idea. Well, fashion is a critical part of the life here in York. Uh, people try to... Uh, express themselves through fashion here. They uh, frequently wear pajama pants around, uh, a lot of work boots, muscle shirts, but you know, that's, that's our style here. That's how we do it here in York. And tell us, take us through the outfit that you have on right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> One of the things I really like about it is that it did arrive in a very small can about this size. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, very, very comfortable. And that's what I like about them. They're extremely comfortable. And they're also quite a fashion statement. I mean, here in York, this is probably upper echelon.
<laughs> and what, what about what about the shoes that you have paired with the, with the bottoms? <laughs> just threw this on. <laughs> <laughs> and the shoes that I'm wearing, I just threw those on last minute, but uh, mm -hmm. they're very nice shoes, very comfortable, and uh, I like them. Yeah. <laughs> just roll the sleeves back down and go out the hosses and just carry yourself away. <laughs> Come on, Greg. <laughs> okay, and this is one of my favorite shirts. This is my Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, I use this frequently. I can go out and grill some steaks with it. Uh, I can use it to go out at night. And uh, it's boho chic. Well, this is a great piece. Uh, when I want to go for that boho chic style. Great for gas and ground hogs, for grilling, and for heading out the houses. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking the wrong guy. <laughs> Soho? What did you call it?